Hello, it's Cem Tezcan. I created a natural scene to show how my dynamic rain volume affects this kind of uh, natural scenes. So let me uh, let me explain the creation of this scene in a brief way. I mostly used, actually I only used the contents from the Megascan library of Quixel and you see that I have several static meshes with the cliffs and stones here and there. And the other step I did was the foliage painting on the over the meshes. So these 3D plants are just instance uh, placed by instance with the foliage painting. So you see that it generates a very natural look in overall. I also added some filler lights and some uh, sunlight and also an exponential fog to create a misty look on the overall scene. You see that I have a tiny amount of post-process material over my screen. Uh, you may realize that there are tiny droplets on my screen which also creates a nice effect on this kind of rainy uh, scenes. So I will show you how my dynamic rain volume actor uh, uh, volume affects this kind of scene. So I'm moving it towards to this area and you see that particles and the overall uh, override on the materials has been uh, placed. So you see that if I disable this volume actor we got the dry materials and meshes and if I enable it we got the rain particles and the overall material override system. So this works as a deferred decal system which uh, works on three axes so which means we got splashes on the horizontal surfaces and the flows on the vertical surfaces. Let me show you much better on this stone. I will move the volume over the stone and you see that it will be hard for you to see possibly from this angle. But Let's move this side and you see that there is a flow through this surface and on the top you will see that splashes on the stone. So most of the leaves are affected by the splashes as well. You see that there are several splashes here and there and also this stone is mostly affected from the splashes too. If you move towards this uh, tree you will see that flow works on this vertical surface which looks a better look on the different geometries uh, for the for creating the under the rain effect like this let's move to this engraving here you see that we have flows and also on the top part we have splashes of this uh, engravement. Maybe I'm not. Uh, this is not may not the right word for this kind of artwork. So excuse my English for that. Anyway, you see that we have flows here and splashes over top of this stone. This effect looks much better with depth of field. Let me show you by moving switching to the cine cameras so I'm hiding the sprites first and also let's hide the meshes of this cinematic cameras so you see that we have a depth of field on the cine camera actor let me switch to full screen and you see that we got very nice splashes and flows here and there even with the stone and the leaves. Let's try to find 
some angle and focus overly works nice so if I hide the dynamic grain volume you will see the difference that how the volume affects the whole level design Do you see it's fully dried with the current materials of this uh, individual meshes and you see that it constantly and instantly affects the whole area like that we have another stones and leaves here you see that these leaves are vertical so they are having some flows overly on the surfaces like that which looks great actually so on the complex geometries like we have in this intersection with the uh, leathers and the wall you see that we got kind of flow through the areas which looks nice if you ask me so let's disable the actor here this is the current material setup and the best part of this uh, rain volume you don't need to adjust anything with this materials so this is the current material of this current mesh so for the material instance of this uh, stone wall I didn't adjusted anything so if I enable my system back you see that we got particles and the material is overridden by the decal system so this complicated foliage areas are look very nice with this dynamic volume as well so there is uh, it's so much asked by people to how to enable uh, to receive decals on the foliage let me show you uh, how to do that if you uh, it doesn't matter that if you uh, painted your foliage before or later you just need to select your foliage it doesn't matter if you select it sorry I switch to the foliage mode and you see that these are the foliage meshes that can be used as a foliage painting so I'm selecting all of them by shift and at the bottom there is a setting that receives decals if uh, by default it's not enabled so uh, rain material volume will not affect this kind of painting at the start but once you click to this add a tick to this receive decals all your foliages will be affected by the rain volume dynamic rain volume So let me switch to another camera. And you see that if we disable the dynamic rain volume actor, all materials are used as they are. So it's nice to just uh, make this area uh, affected by the rain instantly in real time you see that I can even just move this volume on the fly which the nights effect as well so you can add another um, mesh to this actor like I did uh, here I added a cube over the volume so let me make it visible 
it makes the area darker because it just interferes with the um, light sources. So moving this uh, decal system to block the sun is another option for you to create a real-time uh, rain transmutation on your scene. So it's pretty much like that. I hope you like the whole system and the results of it on this natural scene with stones and the foliage. So next time, goodbye.